YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we got a really special treat. Today, we're going to be reviewing a cigar from one of my good friends over at Cigars Daily. Shout out to Tim Swanson. Now, look, I know I'm behind on times. I'm usually one of the last people to smoke a lot of this newer stuff, unless it's the Supreme Leaf. Unless it's the Supreme Leaf, people know I usually get those pretty early, but other than that, I'm usually behind the eight ball. This is the Dama Bellata Robusto. I know a lot of people have reviewed this cigar, and to be completely honest with you guys, I have not watched one review. I want to be honest, fair, just how I always am. So, with that being said, y'all hang tight, stay tuned. We're going to tell you about this cigar. So we are here with the Dama Velada cigar. This is the Robusto Vitola. This is from American Viking Cigars, which most people know. Trust me, I'm sure most people that are watching this episode of my uh, show right now know Tim over at Cigars Daily. He has this company called American Viking. Shout out to him. Got the Dama Velada cigar. He said, I think you'll like that one. So I said, all right, I'll try this one. You guys know I'm more of a medium to full, full body cigar lover. So I will tell you about this cigar. Now, I do know the binder and filler are from Nicaragua. This has a Habano Rosado Oscuro wrapper, I believe. Let me double check. All right, so I'm looking on, I'm looking on CigarsDaily.com. Right now, I'm looking at the Robusto, which is a 5x50 Vitola. So it's a Robusto, perfect Robusto, textbook Robusto. The caption says, the Dama Velada combines a dark Habano Rosado Oscuro wrapper leaf with Nicaraguan binder and fillers to create a flavor bond. All right, Tim, we're going we're gonna to see. Gets powerful notes of espresso, leather, dark chocolate, and vanilla sweetness from the wrapper leaf. The Dama Velada may be a veiled lady, but she's strong and ready to take you on a flavor adventure that ends with a powerful final third. Now you guys know, I'm all power. I like strong cigars, so we are definitely gonna put this to the test. MSRP on this thing is a nine, or is nine dollars. And from the stars, it's almost five stars, but it looks like it's at that 4.75. There's a little bit of white showing in that last star, so. Overall, it looks like everybody's enjoying this cigar. So without further ado, we're gonna cut it up and see what we got. Now, looking at the cap, it looks like it's a kind of a, a it's a double cap, but a little sloppy on this side. So it looks like we got a double cap. We do have some visible seams, but they are tight, tight visible seams. Got some veins present too, and we do have a little bit of tooth. Not really much coming off, off the wrapper. I brought me a little port along the journey, but I'll probably start drinking that a little bit later. I want to see what the cigar has to offer first. Hmm. Definitely getting some natural tobacco sweetness on there. The draw is, the draw is good. A little bit on the loose side, but we'll see how that works out. Pack looks a little. We'll see. Don't think it's gonna be problematic, but I can tell from the cold draw it's a little on the looser side. All right, I think we got us a good light. Definitely getting a nice earth note on it, a little black pepper. There is a sweetness in it too. I don't know, you know, sometimes you read things and you can you can play into it, but there is a natural tobacco sweetness almost. It does remind me of a vanilla note on that a little bit too, but definitely black pepper and earth. A drying wood on that finish. So far, not a bad first few draws. Not bad, Tim's. So far, it's pretty good. All right, we'll keep on smoking, get through this first third. Let you guys know about body flavor, strength, all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, so we're making our way through this first third of this Dama Velada Robusto. I'm, hey man, I'm, I'm not hyping this shit up. This is a really good cigar. This is, this is, I don't know if it's because I've been smoking a lot of subpar cigars in the past day or two. And that's another thing I've mentioned before too. Sometimes when you get to smoke cigars that are a little bit average or subpar, and then you finally get a cigar that's really good, you can definitely tell the difference. 
Draw and performance on this thing has been spot on, as you guys see, Robusto. No touch of Zerilites, razor sharp burn, great draw, good flavor on this. Still getting a nice uh, wood, still getting some black pepper. There's a nice natural tobacco sweetness. Trying to figure out what that sweetness is. Very nice finish on this one too. It's not super long, but it's a nice finish and it's, and it's nice and clean, which is telling me the tobacco and this is really good. As I'm smoking this, I don't feel like there's, there's cheap tobacco in this. Definitely a sweetness there. It's almost like a cocoa powder, but it's mixed in with something too. It's not a creaminess. It's like a, a brown sugar is there too, a little bit too. It's definitely a sweetness though. It's very nice. So I was looking on the website again too, at the uh, the pricing. And like I was telling you guys before, the MSRP for a single is $9. You can buy a five pack for $42.30, box of 20 for $162. As of right now, I would say this is at least five pack worthy for sure. Of course, like I always say, your money may, your money may differ, your uh, wh whatever your budget or financial situation is. But this is a good cigar for me. Yeah, that sweetness and that black pepper is, is is merging really well together. I would go medium for body and flavor and strength. I would go textbook medium right now for body and flavor, body flavor and strength. Maybe starting to creep in that low side of medium to full on body. The, the, the viscosity of the smoke is really nice on this one too. So we'll keep on smoking, get through this second, third. I'll come back and let you guys know if any changes so y'all hang tight. All right, we're still enjoying this Dama Velada Robusto. About to burn through the band, so let me go ahead and take this band off. A lot of the same flavors. The leather note that they mentioned definitely is picking up some. I don't even have a damn ashtray. Let me go grab an ashtray. Uh. We'll grab my nice one. So, as I was saying, you're getting more, you're getting more uh, leather notes. You're still getting some natural tobacco sweetness. I'm getting a lot of steel wood, black pepper. Still a very good cigar. Still would definitely say medium to full, low side of medium to full for body. Flavor, about the same. And then I would say, for me personally, textbook medium on strength. I know that stuff differs for people, but Really enjoying this construction has been on point. I've had this cigar now for probably a month. So it's been staying in my humidor for about a month. As you guys know, I like to keep my stuff cooler. So this is a, this is a testament of me saying I like to smoke cooler. The flavors are still nice. You're getting good smoke quality. You're getting a good burn and a good draw. Sometimes I think I hear people coming and, and, and to me personally, Depending on what area of the country you're in or wherever you are in the world, some people are leaving their stuff way too humid. So, But I'm gonna keep on enjoying this thing, come back with this last third, give you guys some numbers so y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, so we're finishing up smoking this Dama Velada Robusto. Funny thing is, I didn't even, I never took a sip of my wine, so I can't call this an official pairing, but what I was drink or what I plan on drinking with it was the Fonseca Ruby Port, another great bottle of uh, wine, probably runs around 20, to $25 depending on your area. But to me that, you know, all unbiased aside, to me that shows a testament of how good the cigar was. It never dried my palate out to make me force me to drink. But I think this will be a good pairing with the the sweetness of the, the uh, port wine. I think the sweetness will help bring out some more flavors in this cigar too. Performance of course has been spot on. Been a great cigar. Still feel like the low side of medium to full for body flavor. Ooh, low side of medium to full on strength. Not a real big nicotine hit, nothing making me sweat or anything, but but I think for my experienced smokers, this isn't gonna be a problem. If you're a newer smoker, and I always tell you guys, make sure you're smoking and pacing yourself. If you end up smoking this too fast, I could see where it could kind of, you know, wreck you a little bit. But um, we'll go ahead and get the scoring out of the way. For flavor, I gave it a 17 out of 20, definitely above. Average flavor profile, good pla good flavor profile, flavors that I personally like to enjoy. So 17 out of 20, draw was a 20 out of 20, burn was a 20 out of 20, never any relights or touch-ups or anything. Great smoke production, just a great, well-constructed cigar. Complexity, I gave a 16 out of 20. Has some different flavors in there, but nothing too crazy. Nothing, Not the most complex blend, but enough to keep you interested. And then I gave the strength a uh, 16 out of 20. 
as well. Probably maybe could have bumped it up to a 17, but for me, 17, 18, 19, 20 is kind of where you can really, really feel it. 16 out of 20 is there, but um, like I said, I think if you pace yourself, this is not gonna give you a huge problem. Overall score on this is an 89 out of 100. Right there at that elite, uh, elite cigar level for me, like I said, even in the second, third, I feel that this is at least a five pack worthy cigar. I like Tim, but Tim knows, everybody knows that watches me. If this cigar wasn't hitting my palate right, I would say it. I stamp and approve this, so if you guys go over there and check the cigar out, you got, I, I'm fully expecting you guys to enjoy this cigar. Hey, with that being said, I appreciate you, Tim, and American Viking Cigar for putting this cigar out. You guys are doing a great job over there. This was a, this was a hit. I'll definitely have to look further into your lineup and see what else you have to offer, but I think this, is, this one's going to be hard to beat. I like this flavor profile. I like the size of this cigar. It's just been really good. So with that being said, this has been the Dama Velada Robusto. Y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And damn sure don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We will catch you on this next one. Y'all be good. Peace.